Bilia live in ocean throughout the world. Though they may look like plants, in fact, they are animals. Obelia are members of hydrosaur class in Nedelia phylum. They are the most colonial hydroid, the first teeth polyp, another is medusa. The life cycle of Obelia produces two separate sexes for sexual and asexual reproduction. Consists of a horizontally branching root like stolon or hydrorhiza, from which emerge many vertical branching stems called hydrochorus. The colonies are dimorphic, having two types of polyps. The first type of polyp called gastrozoids or hydranus, which are the feeding polyps. They have a mouth surrounded by stinging tentacle containing nematocysts and are responsible for capturing and consuming food. The second called gonozoids or gonangium, which are the reproductive polyps. They reproduce usually to give rise to numerous little old buds or medusa buds. These buds develop into a third type of fluids of the colony called medusae. When they are fully formed, they are set free and swim away from the colony by escaping through the ruptured distal end. The medusa is a literally symmetrical tiny umbrella. The subambula surface has four radial canals and a circular canal on the margin. The mature medusa bears four gonads, one in the middle of each radial canal. The female and male medusa reproduce sexually producing eggs and sperm. Both eggs and sperm are released into the water. The sperm is motile, using fractula for locomotion. The sperm seek out the eggs and suck to them forming a zygote. The zygote grows into an embryo, eventually becoming a planula or isolated free swimming larva. Each planula will eventually attack itself to lock an other substrate and continue to grow developing into a polyp. The polyp will then produce small polyps that it grows. Some will differentiate into hydrant allowing the colony to feed also will form gonangium that will eventually produce more medusa that will be released to make completing the life cycle.